Wired is a powerful diagram editor with which you can create high quality drawings of diagrams. In this video tutorial we will learn how to create a diagram, like this flowchart diagram. So let's start. For a flowchart diagram we need flowchart specific symbols. The palette offers these. Using drag and drop we create our first element in the canvas. Adding label text to the element goes by selecting it, then pressing key F2 to open the label editor and entering the text. To create multi-line label text we press Shift Enter to start a new line. Enter closes the label editor. The label text looks a little tight, doesn't it? To resize the element we can use the black resizing controls around it. Holding down the Shift key while resizing keeps the element's original aspect ratio. Let's create the second element. We drag and drop a decision symbol from the flowchart palette to the canvas. Coming near the first element, thin grey lines help us find a proper alignment. To add label text, again we select the element and open the label editor. We create a line break with Shift Enter and close the label editor. Resizing with Ctrl and Shift held down keeps both the element's original aspect ratio and its center location. Hmm, now we need to move this for proper spacing. Again, thin grey lines help us. The lines are called snap lines. Snap lines are enabled by default. You can turn them on and off here. We keep them enabled. Creating a connection line between two elements is a simple click, drag, release mouse gesture. We can create the next element by copying and pasting the selected decision and then using the snap lines to properly position the new element. We only need to change the label text then. Connecting the new element is as simple as before. Click the unselected element, drag, release. Connections can have label text just like elements and it is entered in the same way. To get the label text of this connection center aligned we could use the mouse and drag it there. However, the so-called placement model only allows positions at the sides. So let's change this placement model. Select the text, open its properties dialog with key F6 and change the placement model. Center slider is a good choice for center line text. We will come back to this label text later. All the way down now it's just copying and pasting. Things we already know. So let's go fast forward to here where we have created the main flow of the diagram. This looks perfect. Let's now create the connection that represents alternative flow. We enable an editing aid to help us. It's called orthogonal edges and we turn it on here. We start at this unselected element with a mouse click. Drag to the right, then up. Release the mouse, which automatically creates a bend. Drag to the other element and finally finish the connection by clicking this element. The connection automatically has orthogonal shape. With orthogonal edges enabled, we can also easily move entire segments of a connection without ruining the orthogonal shape of it. This is not the only orthogonal connection line in the diagram. We can create the others in the same way. This last one also. Now that we have created the structure of our flowchart diagram, we can add some color to it. Let's start with the decision elements. Click to select the first. We can add further elements to an existing selection by shift-clicking them. Changing the color can be done in the properties view using the color chooser. To get rid of the gradient we need to reset the second fill color. We can also select multiple elements at once by opening a marquee selection with the mouse and add further elements by shift-clicking them. Shift-clicking an already selected element removes it from the selection. Elements done. Let's turn to the connections and change their corner bends to look more rounded. We select one connection line first, then all by pressing Ctrl A. In the properties view we then enable rounded corners for each. To make all label texts of connections center aligned like the first we did, Select them and in the properties dialog change the placement model to center slider. The label texts are hard to read. Let's open the properties dialog once again. 
and change their background color. This completes our diagram. In this video tutorial we have seen how easy it is to create diagrams with Wired. Thanks for watching.